the chocolates. What the frick is that? We got the chocolates. Don't they do dad jokes? <laughs> we got the chocolates. Wait, there's a podcast? Yes. Really? <laughs> Yeah, let's welcome back to the We Got The Chocolates podcast. I'm Lee. I'm Skin. And I'm Gertie. And that's Migus over there. Hello. Uh, Migus, he films and then chimes in when we need him. We've also got Dave the Brit that knows jack shit. He edits. He's over there. Charlie and the chocolate fact checker that checks any ridiculous claims that we might make. He is also here. You've probably arrived by accident, but definitely stay for a laugh. We Got The Chocolates. That is a win. And Gertie, you came out of retirement on the weekend. And I don't mean that you'd retired from working <laughs> or from well, podcasting. <laughs> <laughs> no. Cricket, it, cricket was. Yes, it was a... Um, it was a rush one. So um, at about 2.30 uh, yesterday afternoon. Uh, oh, you were just at the dentist, obviously. Yeah, I was at the dentist, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Classic. Really good. Mitchell, you get it? No, I didn't get it. No, good. I've <laughs> never heard that no, before. No, no. So, um, so yes, I was literally mowing the lawn. We had people like coming over to our house uh, Saturday night, but Josh Neal um, actually got hit in the head whilst batting uh, for Valleys on the weekend. So uh, I got a call at about 2.30 just after the dentist. Mm. Uh, <laughs> Oh, now I get it. Oh, yes. That's right. That's the reaction we're looking for. Sorry. Yeah, Yeah, essentially asking, uh, can I come be a concussion sub? And I was sort of like, oh, yeah, I guess so. Like, if you can find someone else to do it, like, feel free to, you know, get them. Apparently there's no one else. Did uh, (laughs) did you ask Kathleen if she's too (laughs) Yeah, She was at the shops, no doubt. (laughs) (laughs) No, so um, I said to Boise, Cameron Boise, our cat, and I said, oh, look, like, I'll just, I'll come down if you'd, like, really need me either to win or to draw. He said, yeah, yeah, fine. No drums, mate. Got to about four o'clock and uh, we were going all right. And they said, all right, come down now. We're going to go for it. I said, okay, sweet. I sort of, sort of packed up the kids, sort of mosey on down there. By the time I sort of popped in the car and drove down the valleys, which is about 10 minutes away, we lost like three for <laughs> real quick. <laughs> oh, so, wonderful. Yeah. So the, me- the message went from, oh, yeah, we're going to go for it. As in go for the win, uh, has turned to, oh, no, we're just going to bat for a draw now. Mm-hmm. And that was something you were renowned for in your career. Yeah, I mean, I just, you know what I love? A full defense and a leave. <laughs> <laughs> so... Yeah, my mom was a little bit scrambled, I'm not going to lie to you. Maybe given a few of the shots I played. <laughs> Watching, it's some of the funniest draw batting I've ever seen. You don't often see people that are meant to be drawing, like hitting the ball for six over cover off the, <laughs> off the opening ball. <laughs> off the back foot. Yeah. Hey, sorry, guys, I was just, I'm tough, out, tough out this spell. <laughs> I mean, it's the same as not getting out, is it? I mean, eventually you get out. We lost by two balls, which hurts. But oh, yeah. No. <laughs> it, really, yeah it was a really anticlimactic, but geez, I smoked him. I'm probably coming back next week. <laughs> Absolutely not. No, <laughs> right. it's against okay. Redlands. We'd play it against each other. I oh, know the offer was put there, and I like, quickly turned it down. But no, it was good fun. Um, yeah, I hit him good. Yeah, nice. yeah. were yeah. you the last wicket or no nah, second last wicket? Okay, so um, I got into a bit of a verbal with uh, the old opening bowler. <laughs> Uh, he had the last laugh. I had a few during the middle. Though. A few of his teammates laughed at me as well, but it really worked out. <laughs> <laughs> I just thought, I thought, because we saw on the scorecard, you see, if you're not registered yeah. as a player, you see asterisk, asterisk, asterisk. Like, yeah. That's what you see on the scorecard. And one of the yeah. boys at Redlands, like while we were playing, and obviously I'd go to duck, so I was uh, not having much to entertain myself mm. for the for the day. But um, yeah, I was looking at the scorecard and then one of the boys was like, who do you reckon that is for Valleys? Do you reckon that's Goaty? And I was like, no chance, mate. He's been asked plenty of times before to play. He won't play no doubt got home looked at the dismissal I was like that's good <laughs> uh, well the funny thing is I literally like, lobbed up there at, like quarter past four and they're like oh you've got to go over to Paddy our scorer and register I'm saying oh, I don't actually fucking have to really <laughs> like so anyway I like, sort of mo- padded up like, do they mo- sting you 900 bucks <laughs> oh man I'll be asking for a fucking refund <laughs> nah like, I, I walked over to Paddy and I'm you know, like halfway through I couldn't remember my fucking password obviously like I haven't registered in, since NAM um uh, <laughs> Lost a wicket, so literally, yeah, sorry, Paddy, I'm going to have to go. I literally like, ran over to like, grab my bat and helmet and just like, ran out to bat. It's just, it was complete out of shambles. You're still not it's registered. You need her. No, I had to register because Paddy was about to have a bloody heart attack, though. <laughs> well, you need those 16 runs to count. It's 22. 22. Off yeah. 16. Off 16. Oh, so batting yeah. for a draw, obviously. Yeah. That's good for your micro cricket stats. Yeah. I should have got red. Speaking of micro cricket <laughs> stats, skin. Buffered them. Oh, yeah. Yesterday. Yep. My best performance of the year. <laughs> Nice little slow and steady 50 off 80 in a one day. Oh, <laughs> A couple yeah. of really big twos. <laughs> oh, just a couple of well-struck singles. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> That's good, though. Skin raised the bat, little bat raise. Yeah, Bring yeah. the low bat raise yeah, back, mate. Skin. Yeah, First one of the season. It's yeah. been, a, been a lean year, but I'll take it. Take what I can get. Yeah, And through to a final now, aren't you? Yeah. yeah, that's true. That was the one day semi-final, so you got the granny. Well done. Week. Be good. Oh, where are we playing? Oh, uh, when I say we, I mean. Yeah. As a collective. <laughs> not playing. Well, yeah. we're playing. Yeah, okay. 
I'm playing at Redlands. <laughs> I don't know what well, you're doing. I'll see you there. <laughs> <laughs> I played golf yesterday and also hit 50. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Mm. In nine holes. Oh. <laughs> that was a shame. Uh, <laughs> anyway, well, we also got this uh, contribution from a chockey. Yeah, it's an anonymous email uh, from, in brackets, insert Mikus's cat's name here. That's what the email said. Snookums. Oatly. <laughs> From a huge AFL fan with zero exposure to rugby, I'm interested to hear some intelligent opinions on Israel Folau and Carmichael Hunt joining the AFL and how that was received by Australian rugby fans. I mean, this is not exactly recent news. No. I wouldn't say. No. He's obviously was... picked up the paper from 2014. Yeah, he's been in a coma for 15 years. What I'm big as his cat. Yeah. But anyway, uh, how elite were these guys in the rugby world, equivalent to Buddy Franklin and Chris Judd signing to play league? I'd say, yeah, probably. Pretty close. Yeah. yeah. Like, yeah. Carmichael played fullback for Australia. Israel was a freak. Yeah. yeah. Um, not at AFL. Quite ordinary at AFL, actually. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I mean, like, yeah. As league guys, they were incredible. And Union, they were both very, very good too. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. Carmichael Hunt actually ended up being semi reasonable for the Gold Coast. He kicked that goal to win the game after the siren against yeah. Tiger. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That's the one highlight I've seen of his AFL career. Yeah, I, I mean, there wouldn't be that many. <laughs> no, nah, but he was like. More than fine. Yeah, he'd okay. have a top five moments video. Maybe not a top ten. Yeah, like he was a – like it wasn't sort of by default he was in the side. No, like he no, was no. He was more than fine. Yeah, yeah he was okay. holding a spot in the 22. You would think Falau should be able to outmark most people. You'd think you? so. He was not, – Not a great shoe, not though. Like overhead, though. It's more like – for the rugby league, it's more like – Getting yeah. up above the pack and getting it on mm-hmm. your chest kind of thing. Yeah. It's a little bit. We'll get Charlie in the chocolate factory to finally do something around here. Um, Israel Folau, I reckon, played an AFL game without getting a touch or a reserves great reserves game. Okay. There nice. you go. That's, okay. that's pretty hard to do. Mm. Well, well mate, Skin's done it. I do it in the Div 2 rest <laughs> every week. So. <laughs> How can you get zero touches? It's hard to do there. <laughs> Just on it fullback. <laughs> At fullback, if you win by 20 goals, it is yeah, tough to get a touch. Yeah. Run, up, run up forward, for fuck's up. sake. Get a hand. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, that, I was only halfway through this email, by the way. Oh, right. uh, it says, go to Lee. You can also chime in once Mikus and Skin finish speaking, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that worked out beautifully. <laughs> Did you do that on purpose? <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was one of the great emails. He goes on, love listening to you blokes, except for skin. Let other people skin. <laughs> Let other people speak, Mitchell, you self-centered prick, and stop making everything about you. We get it. You won a third grade cricket premiership. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh, that's funny. That is good. Oh, good that's one oh, of yeah. the great oh, emails. Oh. He starts okay. off with just like this casual question from 2015 <laughs> and then just tees off. Seriously, he's going to shut the fuck up, mate. <laughs> okay. Sorry, man. I'll work on getting me work out. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's outstanding. Oh, uh, Let's go to joke of the week. Shall we? So many jokes left for us at wegotthechocolates.com.au on the uh, little chalk line where you can leave a recording of your voice telling a joke. This one comes from Mitch. Chuck lads, Gody, i got a Leanne Rhymes joke for you. They told me I would never be good at poetry because of my dyslexia. <laughs> so far, I've made three vases and a jug. I reckon I'm pretty good. <laughs> three Come vases. on, Gody. What is that? Three verses and a but, uh, poetry because of his dyslexia. He's yeah. obviously been doing pottery. Pottery. <laughs> Yes, that is good. Well done. Very good. Well, who said that in? Mitch. Mitch. No, good, good one. Nice yeah. work, Skin. No, thank you. Thank you. No, that's enough, mate. Thanks. Cheers. Uh, unfortunately, my role in the Joke of the Week segment is picking the written one, and I apologise in advance. Again? Again, yeah. Comes from Charles. It's a bit ropey. Okay. By a bit ropey, I mean... The ropiest. The ropiest, potentially. Uh, nice. I was tickling my little brother's feet the other day when my mum told me to stop and wait till he was born. Oh, my <laughs> God. I heard that joke before. That's, oh. that's not a great it's one, not a- But in the great news, you <laughs> haven't offended anyone, have you? Uh, I, don't so. I don't think anyone can be <laughs> offended by no, that. No, they can be option. weirded out. Yeah. 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 You steered clear, yeah. clear of epilepsy, which yep. is a yeah. nice, nice change. Yep. Yep. That was good of you. <laughs> you didn't make fun of anyone. Yeah. So We're good. moving in the right direction. Yeah, that's absolutely. right. Yeah, that's fine. That was just a bit of... Anatomical knowledge. <laughs> Bad one. That's getting educational. That was Joke of the Week. It is brought to you by our good friends at Better Beer. They sponsor that segment and they have some magnificent merch over at their website as well. Um, I mean, they've got like your classics, your sort of shirts and your hats and that sort of stuff, but then also like some rare stuff. There's Eskies, surfboards, the bloody golf bag. There's a golf buggy I'm pretty sure I saw the other day. Actually, I saw one of those golf buggies the other day on their social. They look so sick, actually, the golf buggies. They do, yeah. yeah. 
I mean, yeah, I'm sure we need one around here. <laughs> Imagine just driving, scooting down West End. So I need to go to Woolies Boys, anything we need. It's a bit better for the parking situation. Poor old Nick has just got to park three kilometres away. He drives oh on the Gold God. Coast. He uses his marathon practice, mate. <laughs> Dave, Dave the boot that knows jack shit lives over there. Like you could throw a rock at his house. He drives every day. <laughs> First in the park. First in the park. <laughs> in the car for Nick th- get one. My God. From Palm Beach. In the car for three hours and then I've got to walk three kilometres. <laughs> <laughs> Today he was carrying his stepladder too. Yeah. And then had to Not a real ladder. Get his <laughs> oh, just did you like that? Yeah, I did. That's good. That's good. <laughs> All right, Cody, actually, I think you're taking this next story because you had a situation. That's a poor introduction. You no, just take fine. over. No, yeah. that's fine. No, so uh, I had a slight uh, issue in my house last week, and I'll preface this by sort of saying that this is probably Kathleen's fault, I would imagine. That's surprising. Uh, yeah. One of the great prefaces. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it's probably Kathleen's fault. No, so um, last- Kathleen being your wife, that my is. My wife, a yeah. random person. M- yeah. Most of the things that happen around her house are, are her fault. So no, last week- um, And I can support that. I've been in the house a lot. I've seen her make a lot of mistakes. Yeah. Obviously, we support her. Yeah, through them. and correct her. <laughs> Does Kathleen listen to this podcast at all? I don't, I don't think so. I don't think so. <laughs> Otherwise, would, she would surprise a lot more. I think you'd more. still be married. <laughs> nah, we're fine. We're going good. No, nah, so uh, I, had, um, I had a quiet day of work uh, one of the days last week. So Kathleen took it upon herself. She went and visited her, our little nephew, her little six month nephew. So went out to help her sister a little bit, which is good. Um, which means I had Maggie for the day. Uh, so that was fun, shall we say? Uh, so I, you know, did a school drop off, took Dom to school, uh, took it down and got a coffee, uh, took it to work, uh, which was good fun. Old ladies loved it. But anyway, she's in the process of like trying to uh, bin her midday sleep. Um, at She's the in that process. Yeah, yeah, not me. <laughs> I'm not having you still want one. I still want one, obviously. <laughs> to no, clarify, so, we're now talking about your child, right? I'm not, talking about, not still Kathleen. Not still Kathleen. No, no, no. no. She's not up, mate. She doesn't have midday sleep. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Um, but anyway, so at the moment, she's she's not sort of sleeping um, during the day that often. So we give her the iPad for as a little bit of quiet time. It gives us a bit of a chance to you know, just get a bit of shit down around the house. Anyway, uh, a couple of hours later, I went and picked up Don from school. I got an email from Marley and Spoon. Oh, that's... Yeah, that's yeah, a food, food delivery. Food yes, delivery. similar to HelloFresh sort of thing. I'm um, saying Good yeah, what, people from all reports. Wonderful. Mm. Uh, the quality of their meals, <laughs> freshness, variety, <laughs> size. I'm still talking about Marley and Spoon. <laughs> 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 yeah, variety would be weird. <laughs> We're talking about anything yeah. else. Goodness me. <laughs> Describe. <laughs> What's your favourite thing about my appendage? Variety. Variety. <laughs> <laughs> Is there two of them? <laughs> Four shapes and sizes. <laughs> no, anyway, so I, got, <laughs> so I got an email saying, you know, welcome back, Marlene Spoon. And I was oh, that's nice. Cafe must have ordered back, ordered um, Marlene Spoon for next week. Anyway, I didn't think much of it. Next day I get a text from Kathleen saying, hey, did you order Marlene Spoon? <laughs> I was like, no, why would I do that? I don't do anything like that. Uh, um, she was like, well, I don't know. I just got a text saying your delivery's on the way. I thought, that's so strange. Anyway, again, didn't really think that much of it. Uh, looked at my phone, like my app. I don't even know the password to get into it, so it wasn't me ordered it. Obviously. <laughs> Kathleen, <laughs> Kathleen looks at it. No, I didn't order off my phone. Put two and two together. Our daughter during quiet time yesterday has ordered five meals from Marley and Spoon. <laughs> So it's yeah, an amazing effort. It's that incredible. Effort. Yeah. So wait, uh, can Maggie speak? Yeah, yeah, she's quite good. Uh, like, yeah. so can you like go to her and say, "Hey, yeah, what <laughs> why did done? you do this? <laughs> Which yeah. meals did you order?" Yeah. yeah. Well, <laughs> and we sort of get to it. So, and then I'm like, "Oh shit, okay." So running up and sort of sort of tried to like cancel and stuff. So like, no, can't cancel. I so, said, "Whatever, no big issue." Um, I got a text two days later saying, uh, "Andrew, I've sent you an urgent email uh, in regards to your food allergies." Uh, this is the Marlin Spooner, so none of us has got food allergies. <laughs> so she's obviously clicked the box saying, like, we're allergic to, like, sesame oil and sesame seeds, so they've had to, like, substitute, like, all these oh fucking my. things out of the box. So anyway, yeah, so the box arrived this morning. Um, good yeah. meals? Yeah, well, three of them are good. Uh, one of them, Skin Will Love, it's a uh, crusted tofu Bow bun. Okay. Um, we don't really like tofu in our house, believe it or not. I'll happily take it off. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, so, uh, but anyway, so that rocked up this morning. Uh, a little bit lighter in the back pocket. <laughs> How did Maggie authorize the payment? I don't understand. I, I don't know. Skin, some of these questions just remain. Yeah. If we knew that, we'd know how the world was created. Yeah, <laughs> yeah they're the yeah. same question. <laughs> Pretty much. But yeah. <laughs> was it crazy? Yeah. You got the CVV. It off wasn't the back even, of the it car was even like, the, you know, those things use like the discount code and stuff. No, this is a full price because yeah. it's bad boy. Oh. No, it hurts. They, anyway, they give you like 12 of those vouchers yeah. every box. So I, got a, I got a non alcoholic beer in there as well. It's a complete and utter chaos. So anyway, so we'll be enjoying Mulling Spoon. But I mean, I'm not disappointed because they are a wonderful product. And, uh, <laughs> they really are. They are. They're great, aren't yeah. they? Yeah, absolutely well, great. So we acted up to the chockies. I must say, yeah, a few of the old, few of the chockies, they have had similar issues. I didn't realise how 
big of a thing this would be or how common of a thing. But yeah, we definitely got my two-year-old purchased me. This is from Zoe. My two-year-old purchased me a six-pack of olive oil, shampoo, and conditioner on Catch of the Day. Mm-hmm. Nice. That's, that's nice. nice. That's uh, yeah. my, from Magsy, my son clocked up $1,500 on our credit card buying skins and other useless virtual rubbish on Fortnite. Skin? Wonderful. Yeah. I don't oh, even no. know you're for sale. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> oh, I would have paid more than $1,500. <laughs> yeah. Jeez. Cousin went through about $750 of internet data back in the day. That was in like early 2010. Well, that hurts. And this is my favorite one. My kid ordered 12 bags of M&Ms on Uber Eats. <laughs> Survey prices too, roughly $90 for the lot. <laughs> oh, my. <laughs> That's a great investment. Yeah, it's just so lucky, isn't it? <laughs> what about the, what about these couple from Bianca? She took pics of me showering on her iPad. Uh-oh. Then she showed her friends. Oh, She's four. Oh, crikey! It's not great. That's unfortunate. It's <laughs> probably not what you need. No. Nah. I wonder, like, if depends. Like, would a four year old have any chance in Mikas? I go to you here because this is sort of your area of yeah, expertise. Yeah, I've got a four year old. Yeah. yeah. No, no, no. It's more like oh. from a photography sort of yeah. right. videography sense. Like, is a four year old any chance of understanding like rule of third, pumping up the ISO, that sort of stuff? Yeah. Do you reckon? On the iPad? <laughs> uh, I wouldn't say so. <laughs> Not as big on the iPad. Oyster shot, know. anything like that. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> a couple of martinis. Yeah, oh, yep. yeah. Save yep. for sharps, you know that type of stuff. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, and then also, Mick, Mick has acted, Mick has acting last week. How, how good oh was some god. of the? Oh <laughs> my you, god, we we filmed something and Mick has had to say what? Well, probably one line, didn't you? Yeah, it was one, one line. line. Yeah, should have been one. The line. line was, "Let's chuck that movie on." And we did, we did, I reckon, 15 takes and some of the best laughs we've ever had as Mad Skid watching each take last week <laughs> after Mikas. Mate, it was God, unbelievable. It was so funny. I'm going to stay behind the camera. It was so painful. Oh, that hurts. Like funny. it took longer to do that one line than the whole video. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's concerning. And yeah. then Mikas cut together like a draft of the video and we watched it. We were like, <laughs> That can't possibly be the best take of yeah. that oh, line. No. Like it's, and it I was. Also, it's, I also yeah, it's cut like, out half the line. Yeah. <laughs> it was meant to yeah. use. It was like so robotic and so over the top. He's like, let's check that movie on. <laughs> oh, <laughs> no. And we were like, that can't be in the video. Like, we need to find a better take than that. <laughs> you went back through about an hour and a half looking that, for a that's better it. take. Nah, that's the best one. <laughs> I don't I, like, I've done some stuff in the past and I wasn't that bad. Whoa, 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 man. It's not confession. No. <laughs> 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 right, skin, repeat after me. How much wood could a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? As much wood as a woodchuck could chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood. I'm not going to do that, no. Why not? Well, I just can't get around that whole wood thing. Well, if it's more wood that you're after, skin. Oh, I know, head to pilot.com.au, right? Yeah, for men who need a little extra help in the bedroom. They offer online services, free shipping, effective treatments. Okay. That's great. Yeah, bet you to it, right? Uh, no, I was just going to let you know that it's easier to say if you curl your tongue a little bit. All right. You're quite hard to read. Pilot.com.au. Hard. Made easy. All right. Very exciting times here. It is. We've got an a edition of Letter Change the Plot. A letter B or is it C? It might be D or is it G? A change in words of movies. Letter Z. It's beautiful, isn't it? Yeah. New jingle coming up uh, today as well for a new game. And it won't I can't be one of your favourite jingles. <laughs> well, probably won't be. be. So here we go. Yeah. I don't know. Go to you perform very, very well in there. Uh, the idea of Letter Change the Plot is that we will take one well known movie, or probably a few actually, because we all have a few rounds. So take Some a well known movie title, uh, change just one letter to create an entirely new plot twist. Uh, and we try and avoid them becoming pornos, but generally it happens at some stage. Anyone need to get one out? Yeah, early? I've got the of Oz. Yep, nice. Mm. <laughs> what a great word. Jizz. <laughs> Okay. Yep. <laughs> okay. Wow. It's not in my top five. That really caught me off guard. Yeah. Really? The, Did you the, have a the plot? title? Or? <laughs> <laughs> Any plot? Uh, no, I actually don't no, have a plot. No, no, that's pretty fair. Glad you added the L. <laughs> <laughs> a pot. <laughs> that's an. It can't be another word for, for you know chewing. <laughs> chewing. Fornicating. Yeah. I didn't know that. Horizontal folk dancing. Yes. Chowing is probably not a big word either, no. no. <laughs> anyway. Why? Anyway. We'll keep it going. Yeah. Who wants to go? Skin, you may as well. You've got the most, I reckon. Sure. I can go one with just like oh, a warm-up. Okay. Like <laughs> yeah, yeah, sure. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, no, yeah. seriously, Skin. Fuck you, mate. You just go. Yeah, yeah. I'll shut up. Yeah, Here you go, sorry. Skin. Just a stinker to get you started because I wasn't very happy with this one, but I'll get it out early. So dinosaurs and pigs roam the earth together. Jurassic pork. 
<laughs> Love this segment. <laughs> yeah, maybe that was all right. Uh, Go skin. Yeah, that's all right. Uh, I had Sonnen in the Rain, a rom com about deaf homeless people who meet and live in <laughs> London during a particularly wet season. <laughs> Actually goes quite well See, with Migus's really- first movie. <laughs> yes. yes. You go, buddy. <laughs> oh, right. right. Uh, I had Pilates of the Caribbean. <gasps> Are you joking? <laughs> Are you guys doing a collaborative note? Yeah. Well, do you want to do your plot? You do yours first. Yeah. All right. Uh, it, well, it won't be mine. Uh, there are hundreds of Pilates gyms throughout the Caribbean and Captain Jack Sparrow is on a mission to find the best, similar to the Chocks uh, hunt for a gym in West End, <laughs> actually. <laughs> yeah. I, I kept it a bit simpler. I went, a group of mates going to a health retreat in the Bahamas. Okay. Yeah. Very oh, good. I good. Like, I like this good. plot better though. I like what you've That's done. I also good. like. I generally like the way you reveal like the plot first and then the movie yeah. title. Yeah. Well, it's That's sort of my, like. That's my new way of doing it. So it's sort of like two oh. girls go to a party and get a bad case of food poisoning. Shite chicks. Oh, oh my oh. days. <laughs> <laughs> that is brilliant. <laughs> exactly, like exactly that. like that. Yeah. yeah. All right. Exactly. Okay. I'll go that route as well then. Sure. Okay. Uh, oh, starting now, I guess. Okay. A couple of blokes. <laughs> so Not Lee from was, the next one. No, yeah. no, do that I next thought time Lee was going to jump in yeah. before me. Uh, but anyways, uh, a couple of blokes moved from Alaska to Australia during the Australian summer and quickly return home. No country for cold men. Nice, <laughs> nice, nice. Skin's plots yeah, are always so, so I, good. I, 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 I love plot yeah. first and yeah. maybe. That's what I do too. Yeah. So like this one, four bakeries fight to the level that leads to things getting into a gang war. Everyone is looking for the award for America's tastiest bread roll. Top bun. <laughs> <laughs> good. All right. A coming of age story about a teenage boy growing up and trying to grow a mustache. Not fuzz. <laughs> Wait, what's the hot fuzz? Oh, hot fuzz, which is a great movie too. Very for, good, underrated movie. Yeah. That's probably why I need to have seen the movie. Oh, so that's a good movie. Right One, yeah, very yeah. good. Oh, happy to watch it. No, we uh, should uh, together. Uh, play, play this other. What are you doing, later? <laughs> <laughs> uh, a movie about Lee Drennan saying he's leaving right now. Gone in six hundred seconds. <laughs> It's one number. <laughs> oh, is, that's great. really good. How many minutes is that 600 is so seconds? 10. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, that's, that's, right. that's good maths. Yeah. <laughs> uh, this movie follows Michael Burry's more after hours activities in the years after he won that multi billion dollar bet against the US housing market in 2008. Uh-huh. The Big Snort. <laughs> Short. The big short. Big short. You said so many words in that that I had <laughs> no idea what happened. I was so gone. Okay. Yeah, yeah I wasn't expecting you to get yeah. that. So don't worry. <laughs> the other two got it. I yeah. liked it. At least someone got it. I'm trying to keep mine more yeah. simple here. Yeah. So like two guys go into every 40 wink store in Australia in an attempt to spend a night there without being discovered. Uh-huh. Betting crashes. <laughs> oh, nice. That's very, very good. <laughs> Excellent. Very good. <laughs> Oh, tickled goatee. Oh, I like that a lot. <laughs> I fucking love this thing. <laughs> All right. This one's called uh, Harry Potter. Same story, but the whole film is dubbed by Hagrid. Nice. Oh. I've, I've also got, well, I might not. Uh, a young wizard falls into the wrong crowd in the first year of Hogwarts. Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stoned. Oh, <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> Very nice. Excellent. Okay. How many uh, more you got skin? I'm out. Uh, three if we need them. Oh, my. Uh, we probably don't need them. Go one more. <laughs> one more. Pick, pick your best two. Yeah, right. Okay, best go two. Best two. Best best two. two. Okay, first one, Goaty's wedding video. Uh-huh. The wedding... <laughs> The wedding ginger. <laughs> oh, it's not a singer. Yeah. See, I'm with you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> short, wedding ginger. short video. <laughs> <laughs> Have you got one? Yeah, I've got one. Uh, this one is uh, a cricket captain who has an unbelievably bad record of losing every toss in a season that will define whether his club is relegated or not. Mm-hmm. The movie follow his ju- follows his journey of personal development as he tries to win just one singular 50 50 chance coin flip. Uh huh. Horrible tosses. <laughs> <laughs> Nicely done. <laughs> Are we happy there? Are we yeah, as sure good as good. Good. Okay. Okay. Oh, All right. In which God. case, I actually wanted to. It's a good. It's a good way to make a link there because on cricket, slightly. Uh, when we went down, uh, we sort of referenced this last week, Mick, as well. You were over there, and Yana was on, but we went down. 
to watch the Brisbane Heat versus Sydney Sixers final in Sydney. And there was a bit of commotion, which we couldn't see from the boundary, but there was a bit of commotion around the award that Spencer Johnson mm. got for the player of the final in the fact that it was, I mean, fairly, I, I thought quite a subtle reference to the sponsor. You wouldn't have known. Like I mean. you wouldn't have known that it was, um, that we were sponsored, <laughs> that the competition was sponsored by KFC. Mm. It was a large bucket of chips, basically. It basically, it had salt on it. Yeah. It was that close. <laughs> <laughs> it was genuinely KFC player of the match and the medal. I think you actually got a photo with the medal, yeah. Lucas. Yeah, you wouldn't genuinely have known that that medal was for man of the match. No. Like it literally, like I got a photo you with You would have thought Spawn. it was for employee yeah, of the employee year. Of the <laughs> I got a photo with Spawn holding the medal and people like commented on it being like, did you win like an eating challenge? Obviously not at KFC. I wouldn't, I wouldn't yeah. eat. They like are that. ethically sourced they and, are. and delicious. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I would no. got, so your two food companies you're plugging this episode of an opposite end of the spectrum. <laughs> both well, they are both great, great people, 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 no matter both what I just high said. High in convenience, flavour, and, uh, and, and very cost effective. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, anyway, so. slightly off track. Spencer Johnson, <laughs> player of the final. His medal is a, is a KFC large bucket of chips, basically. Like yeah. it's in. It's not actually the chips. You can't eat it. But it was like yeah, like gold. No, that is gold. gold. Yeah, in that track. Track. Yeah. yeah. It also reminds me, by the way, of a great. Um, <laughs> it's not a joke. I don't think we're gonna get to this story. No, no it's just Spencer Johnson is an idiot. I don't know. I think we've talked about him a bit on this podcast before. But obviously, wonderful cricketer. It always has been, but particularly well-renowned now, probably more so for the fact that he bowls quite fast and is good at bowling. Uh, I think, yeah. Skin, we once referenced the fact that he <laughs> shot fireworks at us. So, yeah. like, he was, he's always been, you know, yeah. quite uh, an bit interesting a character, yeah. a bit loose, yeah. yeah. And in the Triple Premiership 2016-17 that I haven't referenced before, but if you ever do mm-hmm. want me to speak about it, just ask the question, happy to talk about it. Uh, we won the one-day flag where Spencer Johnson also was named player of the final for that. Can't remember what the second medal looked like, but he did get a second medal for that. And and uh, obviously we had our celebrations post-game, everyone out drinking and went to the Ramsgate Hotel or whatever it was. And we got this message in the group chat from Spencer when he woke up the next morning. <laughs> <laughs> At like six o'clock in the morning, he woke up and he sent us a photo of him shirtless with two medals. It said, the caption just said, why do I have two medals? <laughs> But like, obviously knowing that he was player of the final, <laughs> good. and so that is good. he did the exact same thing to me after the <laughs> Brisbane Heat game. Woke up in the morning, sent this photo to our group chat that said, "Why well, have I got two medals?" <laughs> oh, that is good. I fucking love that. <laughs> Double it is a funny man. Uh, Cody, it left us sort of thinking in terms of just the flack that that medal got for its sort of nonchalant reference yeah. to the subtle. primary sponsor, yeah. subtle ref- reference. What are some of the worst? trophies or medals or player of the final sort of presentations uh, mm-hmm. that we've seen. And we, well, actually, we probably haven't seen a lot of them, no, but we, you found them. Yeah, we wouldn't have seen too many of these. A lot of these for, from like soccer in Europe or football, as they call it over there. There's a few like like sort of simpler ones, like uh, if the, the team sponsored by a pizza company, they get pizza. As a man, Just like, But that's an actual pizza. A physical, <laughs> here's a pizza, this is my man of the match trophy. One got a, a curry, like just like a but like a butter chicken and rice, I'm assuming, <laughs> in like a plastic container as man of the match. In a professional game of soccer, pretty loose. But these these four were a bit sort of rogue. <laughs> wait, wait. Do they, do there's a photo. Say, there's a photo of bring a curry out, and you just expect. There's a photo it to of a bloke it? essentially just yeah holding just a stock standard. It could be Thai or Indian sort of curry, just sort of standing like this. Yeah, I like it yeah. a lot. But would you, would you you then just yeah. have to dip in, wouldn't you? Yeah, it would. Yeah, it's hot. absolutely. Yeah, would. I would assume it's hot. You can't have it in the shower. But anyway, uh, these, these four sort of stood out to me. So the first one, uh, Polish Giants. What was that a reference to? I don't know. <laughs> Nothing. We can't eat curry in a shower. That'd be a weird thing to do. No, you can't. Uh, but It's a weird thing to say. Yeah. It's mm. much weirder no, to say. No, like but showers yeah. after the game and stuff like that. So you'd have to dip oh, in. Right, Come on. All up right, to sorry. my level, boys. Curry, curry on with what you were yeah, saying. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> It's good. Go on. Yep. I like heard it. Pun of the week. Good. Yeah, great. That's really good. <laughs> oh, it's a shame he's got none of them to continue. Oh, you can't do this again. <laughs> we'll be with you in uh, a ticker, man. <laughs> just excuse me. i got to go to the Vindaloo. <laughs> oh, there we go. I don't. Well. No, no, no. No, you were just making a pun. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. Polish Giants, Gornik Zabrezes, the soccer team, man of the match is uh, clucking good. Uh, they gave their best player a live hen to take <laughs> home, which presumably provides breakfast the next day. Oh, is that so? Uh, there, I'll send the photo to Disco. He might be able to put it up there. It's a person holding a chicken in a cage, essentially. So maybe not that ethical. Uh, anyway, <laughs> they've so just given maybe just a chicken, just a live 
chook. They might lay that. eggs, maybe. Sure. That's, yeah, that's yeah, what I'm yeah, That's the next day. You're not just like, oh, oh yes. I thought you were encouraging slaughtering that. No, no, no. 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 Yeah. Oh, Hannah for Aniston was going to meet <laughs> Doomsday. Yeah, uh, the next one, uh, this one's actually very positive. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, they gave someone. Uh, <laughs> Sorry. F- Five gigabytes of mobile phone data <laughs> from their major sponsor, Telcom. It's not that many, is it? Five no, gigabytes. I would have thought so. It's about three days, maybe. Yeah, for you. Well, actually, I have no idea. Yeah. Five uh, gigabytes. Yeah, that's yeah. not overly generous. <laughs> How many days is it for you? It's also probably a bit of a pain in the ass if you're already yeah, signed up to some other. <laughs> some other thing. Like, like, how do you get the five gigabytes? The photo's great because he's holding it, you know, like one of those big novelty checks, yeah. but it's a large novelty SIM card. Oh, yeah, that's yeah, it's kind of cool. good. Oh, right, Very right. good. But yeah. that is, yeah, you're right. That would be annoying. Like, what office do you guys have at the moment? Well, we got five gigabytes of data if you're interested. <laughs> and it'd also be pretty hard to put that into your phone. It's that big. Anyway. <laughs> Uh, we can, uh, this one, we can only hope this player is a gamer uh, for his performance in the EFL Cup. Uh, he was awarded a copy of Crash Bandicoot 4 on PlayStation 4. <laughs> <laughs> Again, not That's the worst. Yeah. <laughs> Crash Bandicoot on PlayStation 1 would have yeah, been oh, much better. Crash Team Racing, oh. how good. Oh, and the last good. one, this is actually Jai Richardson, um, the Australian fast bowler. Uh, yeah. He played a game... Uh, uh, against India in 2018-19. Australian young speaker Jai Richardson received a back grip and shoelaces for his outstanding <laughs> performance against India in 2019. I reckon Sorry. he might have enough of them being a professional cricketer. <sighs> what? Wait, yeah. in what competition? Uh, it just says against India. Skin, I didn't go into that much detail. But, yes, a back grip. But presumably playing for Australia. You would have for to Australia. Australia. You can't against play against back grip and shoelaces. Back grip yeah. and shoelaces. Is there a photo of the shoelaces? Uh, no, I don't like know. Are they colourful? I don't know. Stock yes. Sando. So they've got a nice eyelet. Is that what they call that? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Aglet. Aglet. <laughs> yes, aglet. Is it an aglet? Yes. What's an eyelet? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was an eyelet. I thought oh. it was an eyelet. Is that not an eyelet? The drawstring eye. goes through, the little hole your drawstring goes through or something? Is an eyelet. I don't know. That's so the anglet goes through. Eat the eyelet. You're, so, you're still yeah. saying it wrong. It's yeah. an like anglet. Yeah, there's no way. It's an aglet. <laughs> A-G-L-E-T. The anglet. Yeah. <laughs> Very good. So that's uh, there's some weird men of match prizes there. Oh, so weird. <laughs> Mainly the shoelaces. I'd be, I'd be fine with most of them, to be honest. Yeah. Crash Team Racing is a fucking no-brainer. I'm a curry right now. <laughs> I'll tell you what. <laughs> well, you're not man of the match at the moment, mate. You're close to worst on ground. <laughs> <laughs> I'll pop down. All right, we are playing a new game, and it is called Famous Who's Who. That's how we'll be finishing the episode today. There is a new jingle that we've worked on. These words are just names, but think about fame. Don't you know? Famous who's who and who's who and who's who and who's who and who's the celeb you will say is time to play. Famous who's who or who's who. Good. And a punchy ending. Skin. That was fucking like punchy. That. That's good. I've got better at singing. <laughs> oh, no, you no, haven't. No, 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 I would say that. No, no, no. no, no, no I, I actually I think more. No, no. <laughs> I have. I promise you I have. Well, five other blokes in here. Will, yeah. Yeah, five other, but anyway, great song choice. Great song. Yeah. Fucking great That's song. That's Natasha Bedingfield. Bedingfield. Yeah, yeah, she also sings the Hills song. I thought you were going to say she also quite liked her sporting <laughs> multi-bets. Oh, God. Okay, no. There was a bit in there where you kept saying who's who. I thought I thought you were saying a Suzu. <laughs> <laughs> in the automatic generated caption, yeah. it also thinks that. A Suzu, a Suzu, a Suzu, a Suzu. A Suzu. Suzu. Sponsored by. If anyone wants to donate a YouTube to the podcast. Yeah. Why not? I mean, I could probably change that to Subaru, 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 yeah. anything really. Yeah, yeah, Hyundai, like Hyundai, Hyundai, Hyundai. <laughs> Tesla and Tesla and Tesla. Oh, oh, thank you. Too greedy. No, sorry, that's greedy. Oh, anyway, keep going. Well, you explain the game, Gabe. Right, we yeah, we were playing a game. That's right. Apologies. Uh, brand new segment tonight, and it is, which I told you it's called <laughs> Famous Who's Who. Tonight. Well, <laughs> if you're listening daytime, to it at night. The podcast the lights are on, man. <laughs> lights are on. It's <laughs> night. <laughs> <laughs> doesn't matter. Whether they're listening it to it. Matter. Could be today or tonight. Knows it doesn't Could matter. Could be today, tonight. Oh, good show. Oh. Not really, actually. <laughs> stinker, in stinker. Fact. Genuine stinker. stinker. <laughs> actually, one of the worst. Really? I would say. Unless, like, Channel 7, 7, 6 30. Do they still do that show? Nah, oh, nah, today, nah. tonight. It's a proper. Nah, it's yeah. a, it's it's a like hammer. So it's just like, news. It's like a. I don't know. It's like the top of. Just yeah, weird so, stories. It's like a current affair sort of It'd thing. It'd always be like rocking up okay. at people's houses. Yeah, knocking on oh, doors. Yeah. You're a dodgy neighbour, so well, I don't even live here. I'm actually house. <laughs> 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 <la
<laughs> you just get random journalists like going and accusing people and then film it. <laughs> you stole from that shot. Right. No, not really. Okay. <laughs> you stole from them. No, I own it. Oh, okay. Sorry. <laughs> anyway, that was today tonight. Yeah. Um, Sorry, we're not playing that. We're yeah. playing a famous who's who. So oh, it's basically a game that names and fames people rather than shame. See what I did there? Nice. Uh, of a certain name. So essentially I'll throw out a first name like Kevin, for example, uh, and you guys, as in Mikas, Skin, Goaty, uh, you will scribble down the name of a famous Kevin that you can think of. But be careful because if multiple contestants name the same Kevin, you're automatically eliminated from that nice. round. Your goal is to name drop the most renowned figure associated with that name without it being the same name as someone else. Mm -hmm. okay. And it's very subject, isn't it? You're the very, I'm the judge. I'm the yeah. only judge. Nice. So, yes, the coveted point will be determined by me. You and you only. Exactly. Okay. Your first name is Emily. Mm. And I'm, you're going to have to push along pretty quickly. I have so. no idea. You don't have an Emily? You're kidding. All right. Mix is eliminated. Oh my God. I can't think. Write down an Emily. You're fine. Are we right to reveal? Mm -hmm. Three. Oh, nope. Two. <laughs> one. Reveal. Thank you, Emily Blunt. Emily Blunt. Emily. <laughs> Migas has written Emily, Emily with no last name. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that I mean, he's, if, act he's actually banned from games. Though. If you talk about great debuts for a game, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we've well, got the it. issue. Nope. Is I wanted to put Rodikowski, but yeah. fucked if I know. No, how. Spelling's, only one like spelling's not important. Yeah. Christ. There was but nothing about spelling in the game. I am curious here because they're both the same. They both lose. You all lose. You're not getting one for writing the name I said. <laughs> no one gets a point. But yes, you are right because they both said Emily Blunt. Neither gets a point. Your second name okay. is Alex. Oh my! It's a tough little one to fill. I'll be honest. In the audio form, we've got the <laughs> boys writing them down at the moment. Skin's written Alex yeah. so far, which is a good start. Just to let you know, I do know what the first name is, so you don't need to keep writing oh, that yeah. down. Oh, good Sorry. point. <laughs> <laughs> can you? I don't think you can read Are this. Are we flipping? Let me see. Yeah, except that's not his name. <laughs> Okay, happy to I say that. Spell yeah. it. You know what I mean. Yeah, I know what you mean. Dude, I can't Spelling wait for you to reveal it. Okay, <laughs> it's revealed by Goaty. He's written Alex de Minor. It's spelt definitely incorrectly, but it's an no, Australian I tennis player. Know. That's fine. I would like to see no. uh, Skid. Can you reveal yours, please? No. I've got Alex and the Alex yeah, and the Great. The great. <laughs> <laughs> That's a stinker. Don't mind it. No. <laughs> I'm not showing you mine. You are. No, I'm not. Please reveal. No, Come on, Vickers. I've seen Vickers already. It Come is on, Vickers. Alex Baldwin, <laughs> which is fine. Except his name's Alex. Alex. Are you sure didn't seem right? Let's do, let's do famous Lachlan's. Uh, Lachlan Drennan. That's when we got the chocolates. Oh, sorry. No, that was Luke. <laughs> Damn it. Uh, I knew something oh. did sound right. <laughs> Oh my god. Uh, no. Skin, you've got two generic. Oh, Goaty, you get the dude. point for that one. Yeah. Well done. Goaty no. with no. Alex de Minor. There's oh, lots of some real spelling issues going on here. Okay, your third one Wait. is Ryan. Looking forward to the revealed skin. Once again, you don't I'm, need to write actually, down the first name. You know how you said one. don't write the yeah. first name down? Maybe we should because of old mate over there, I reckon. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> true. Skin's written Ryan the Great. <laughs> <laughs> and reveal. I've got a Ryan Seacrest from Skin. I've got two Ryan Seacrests no, and I've got joking? a Ryan are Reynolds you? from Mikas. No. Mikas think? gets the point. It is one to Mikas, one to Goaty. Skin yet to trouble. We are going to have to go again. And your next one, I'm looking forward to this one, is Jessica. Oh. It can be shortened to Jess if you want. Can't be shortened to Janice, Mikas. Jennifer Love Hewitt. <laughs> Good people. Just one person. Good person. Listen, Jessica listen is the name. The name. Once again, Skin, thanks for writing down the first name. That's yeah, good. Oh, I forgot welcome. about that. Yep. That is good. Mikas, you can reveal. Oh, no, you can't yet. Sorry, I won't say it in okay. case because Goaty's still writing. And we seem to have a... <laughs> Skid, are you ready to reveal? Yep, yep. All right. I've got a Jay Jonathan cricketer from the Brisbane Heat oh, nice WBL team. Skin, I've got a... Jessica Alba and a Jessica Alba, which cancels each other's out, which gives Goaty the point with Jessica Jonathan. It's brilliant. I was going to say Aniston. What other Jessicas could you have had, Charlie? <laughs> could have had <laughs> Jessica no, Simpson. Simpson. Yeah, Simpson. Yeah. Jessica Simpson. Those were the two I was tossing up between. Mm -hmm. yeah. Nice. Well, you probably should have gone the other one. <laughs> I probably Jessica. should have. Uh, uh, tossing. Goaty leads 2-1. Do you want one go. more? I've got one. Oh, it's it's a fucking great right segment. Right okay, well, good. Yeah. We'll practice then. I'm yeah. liking it. I'm enjoying it. Yeah, me too. Uh, I'm worried for you on this one, but you should be okay. Jordan is your final name. 
and I will accept River Jordan. <laughs> <laughs> you reverse the names and put Michael Jordan. <laughs> Oh, it's lovely. Nice, Goaty. Goaty's entry is in and not bad. I I was expecting one of them. Nice. I haven't got one. You haven't oh, got a Jordan? I don't think I do. The great? Shut up. <laughs> Skin, I'm going to have to. I need something from you in five seconds. Four. Just, just write Jordan. Three. Two. No. Buckingham. One, nothing. Sorry. Skin nothing. is out, which leaves Jordan Spieth from Goaty and Jordan Peterson from Mikus. Oh, that is a tough little decision. Jordan Spieth, the golfer, obviously Jordan Peterson, pretty big on TikTok and sort of yeah, social media oh, at the course. moment. Migas, I think I actually have to go to you for no that shit. one just at the moment, which leaves us a 2 all with no tiebreaker, which is a brilliant game. <laughs> well, <laughs> Sure, just think of one. Just think of one, I reckon. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to think. do one more. Yeah, for right. That skin will probably win it, so yeah. then we'll get that again. <laughs> I'll stop playing. No, 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 play, play, okay. play. <laughs> all right. Your next name. Because I threw it out at the start, so you should have had time to think oh. about it, is Kevin. Oh. As the tiebreaker. Oh, nice, Goaty. There's good variety. Well done. Goaty's got his guess in. <laughs> Vickers has got his guess in. It's a belter. <laughs> and Skin has got his guess in. Oh, my gosh. Okay. So I'm starting with Vickers, who's got Kevin 07 in brackets, Rudd. Go, K, Rudd. <laughs> Former Australian <laughs> Prime Minister. Oh, uh, that's good. Now, Goaty has gone with Kevin Durant, and Skin has gone with Kevin Spacey. That is a tough one to judge. Can Professional behaviour, Kevin I get Spacey as well. Any else, help from over but there? He's still famous. Anyone? Yeah. Or infamous. What about this one? Kevin Spacey or Kevin Durant? Which way are you going? Um, those three of us. No, Kevin uh, Rudd is out. <laughs> <laughs> Kevin Rudd is not more famous than either of the other two. Surely Spacey. Spacey's more famous than Kevin Durant. Okay. Spacey. Yeah. Skin, but again, got questionable it. behavior. Well Great. Right. So that's yeah. a well another tiebreaker. So another tiebreaker. Good, good stuff, Skin. That's, that's when you really do your yeah. best work. Well, I do. When it's not, when it doesn't fucking matter, Skin. I do tiebreakers that I shouldn't be involved For the in. second week in a row, we have a drawn game. But oh. what, are, what are your thoughts on the segment? I fucking love it. We may as well do another one. No. No, I think we're done. Jody, obviously we're done, mate. Stop, stop asking. It's just, just a lot of fun. Okay. Uh, and tweet of the week or you're in for an X or whatever it is. Uh, the first original post was from New York Post. They, they posted a little news article saying, McDonald's leaves man sweating and shaking after disgusting burger surprise has him vomiting. Ooh. And Austin replies, yeah, that's why I never order the disgusting burger surprise. <laughs> Good. <laughs> <laughs> nice skin. I, I was thinking today, I've been a bit like, yeah, I've given you donuts in some of your, your infrinexes, yeah. but I quite like what you've done there. Thanks. Appreciate it. Good oh, stuff. This one, they gave me a burger, not donuts. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> On the count of three, name your most famous burger. You can't name the same as anyone uh, else. Oh, this is good. Ooh. Three, two, one. Zinger. McChicken. McChicken, zinger. What did you say? Ham. Ham. <laughs> <laughs> Probably wins. Very generic. But probably actually, it's definitely the most famous. Like, well done, Skid. You're back. Skid Drew. It's two, it's two, two. two. Everyone on. got two. Why they call it a hamburger too, but there's no actually ham on it. That is weird, isn't it? Because it's more of a beef know. top operation, isn't it? I don't know. It's beef and I ham. assume there's... Not the same thing. No. <laughs> yes, Lisa. I went for magical animal. <laughs> Shut up. Alrighty, that's another episode of the Week at the Chocolates podcast complete. We welcome you to be a part of the Chockies crew and get in touch with us on the socials. It's at We Got the Chocolates uh, wherever you do have social media. And please make sure you're following us too if you are on that social media profile, just so that you get every update that we possibly have to give you. <laughs> yep, you can also get in touch with us at our website, wegotthechocolates.com.au. You can leave a voice message on the chalk line if you'd like to potentially hear yourself on a future episode, or you can just write into us as well below. Get the YouTube comments coming and the ratings and reviews. Can't see us in the top 200 rankings at the moment, so pull your fingers out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yep. <laughs> as I keep saying, it's not our fault. We're delivering this high quality product. <laughs> 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 so humble to it. A lot of work goes into this. No, it does. Spent four or five minutes on that this morning. <laughs> letter change of plots. Send in your letter change of plots yes. to us this week oh, too. That'd, that'd be so great like, to see. That makes me smile. We would love to see a few of them. There's also uh, the marathon video. We should have probably mentioned finally out skin. Yes. If you're listening to the podcast and you haven't been to our YouTube channel to watch the marathon edit, go and do that right now. 
please. <laughs> nice. That'd be nice. <laughs> and also while you're at it, remember to get out and have a chin wag with your mates this week. If you're doing that, you're absolutely getting the chocolates. We love having you here and we'll speak to you again this time next week. And as always, good luck in the future. And that's Stumps. Love you. Love you. Love you. Mm-hmm. I was just thinking of a D's nuts joke. <laughs> yeah, I was. I got nothing. No. Damn it. Do you? No. Do you? No. Surely you can think of one. No. Oh, yeah. Easy. Go. Go. <laughs> what, what was that? No, we told that last week. Oh, okay. No, I got nothing. See you. Oh.